And I figured since I don't okay? see very well and don't know where the items are, it would just be better for everyone to cut my searching for items. She will not What? Who the fuck is quoting poetry? Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Is she talking to us or at us? Well, I guess we'll find out. And as you can see, they kept one of the few things I didn't care for from the first revelations. The bloody screen when you're this injured. Looks like a way out. There's a map in there somewhere, but for some reason I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's because I picked it up on my first run or what, but I've never completed this chapter, so I don't really know why the map's not there. I don't know why they didn't just stick with the limp when you're injured. It doesn't make sense. Oh, you're badly hurt, so let's make it harder for you to see what's happening. And those blade trap things there, they're going to activate at some point. Probably not a shocker. It's Resident Evil. I love the series and all, but they're pretty predictable. And on the left there is an item that you can scan for. So know that as well. Come in here and straight ahead is some shotgun ammo. So grab that. I'm going to cut back to where we just were when we came through the door. Because I walked around looking for it because I didn't see the door. Like I mentioned, I'm partially blind, and so I just didn't see the door, and so I wanted to start over. I wanted to give a clear shot of where to go, and I thought that was the easiest way to do it. Down that hall is also a letter, if you want to look at that. Oh, that looks comfy. Yeah, let's take one home. Look at this machine. There's something stuck in it. I've missed several letters or cut out several letters already, so... I'm just, I didn't bother showing it. And honestly, I don't really care. So like in the first revelations, there is these weapon, there are the weapon upgrade boxes, parts, whatever you want to call them. So that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show that on this video due to some technical issues, but I upgraded there. So that's good. They're not, the upgrading isn't hard to figure out. Moira, I'll give you a boost. See if you can climb up. Okay. All right. Sometimes I don't like this random dialogue when I'm trying to talk. It's not good for Let's Play. It's probably more engaging when you're just playing, though. So up here, we're going to have the first of several puzzle boxes. I'm not going to show the full solution because I'm trying to minimize the video length due to a file size issue. I actually did commentary for this already, which I was happy with, and the file says came out to be too big for my hard drive or something like that. Long story. So in there should be a upgrade for how much handgun ammo you should carry in your inventory, but like the map, it's not in there. I don't know why. Claire, this way. The only thing I can figure is because I had I did get it on a previous run of this game, but I never finished the section, so I don't know why they would have kept that. I mean, I'm not really complaining if that's what happened, but it's just kind of weird as all. Maybe once we're outside, we can find someone to help us. Maybe, but probably not. This is Resident Evil after all. And your father was an extra in Jill's run of the first game. So you should already know how this works. He should, he should have told you. Ah, Moira, Moira. Act like you've been here before. Come on now. Gotta tell you, I'm not really that much of a Moira fan so far. Her voice actress does a good job, but I'm just not really feeling it. Maybe she'll grow on me, I don't know. She kind of reminds me a lot of a character named Kaini from the game Nier I just played, except for she was a lot cooler than this girl. I just want to get out of here. Let 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, Claire wants to go home too, and you don't hear her complaining. Moira, come on now. Oh crap. Jerk. Stay back. Thank you. Complain about you and then you help me. That's nice. That's the way I... No, I'm not even going to make that joke. That would have been a bad joke. I'm going to stop right there. Take that. How do you like that? Oh crap, he's getting up. Taste my blades of justice. Blades of justice. Yeah, you don't like them, do you? Alright, let's continue on down this hallway. I don't know, maybe she'll grow on me though. We'll, we'll see. She just reminds me of that character Kaini because she's all foul mouthed and has that attitude, but Kaini kicks a lot more ass. So in that doorway I was looking at, there is a hidden item if you scan for it. I think it's just like skill points or something, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I finished the first episode of this game, and I don't know, so far I've been disappointed in it. I I thought the first Revelations was the best Resident Evil since either 3 or Code Veronica, depending on which one came out last. But I don't know, this one just seems like a step back, which is unfortunate. I know a lot of people will be like, oh no, Resident Evil 4, best Resident Evil ever. No, it really isn't, because it's not really a Resident Evil game. Neither is 5 or 6, but, you know. Probably ne neither of the Revelations games as well, but at least they try. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like 4. I kind of like 5. It's a little more action-oriented than I would have liked. I think there's a hidden item in there too. I'm not really sure. I cut part of my trek through here to save time. And there's a document. Let's leave this room. But no, like I, I I liked four just fine, but as a game, but as a Resident Evil game, I didn't really think it was very true to what the series is about. I say that, there were a couple parts. There was one musical piece that was kind of cool and kind of dark. And there's a couple parts that were kind of cool. The section where you're playing as Ashley, you have to run around these suits of armor. And then there was another section where you had to face these things called regenerators. And those were pretty cool. Those made some really fucking weird sounds. Okay, I just wanted to show it in this room. This is here. There may be items in here I don't remember. Again, I'm trying to save time. So there's that. Now well, let's leave here. But yeah, to me the first Revelations was the best one since the Resident Evil series went to this over-the-shoulder view. But, unfortunately, this one seems like a step back. It doesn't seem like a bad game. Oh, hey, so, yeah, that hallway is really dark. So, I apologize if it's hard to figure out where to go in there between all my cutting and everything, but it's just dark. So, you guys are going to get to see one of my favorite things. I've, I've kind of bitched about this game. I haven't even gone in about the soundtrack yet, which I want to get to. But you're going to see... You're going to see one of my favorite things. Actually, my Moira, so help me. Stealth kill. I am a big fan of Tenchu, so I love that. And unfortunately, I didn't notice that that guy was looking right at me. That sucks. Oh, crap. God. Don't hurt me. Where is it? Ow, damn it. Jerk! Run, Claire, run! Um... Where'd he go? 
Oh, there he is. Damn it. Why, why you gotta go picking on a defenseless woman? Come pick on the one with a gun. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the melee combo thing to happen there. I guess I was too far away. But we killed it. Took way more damage than we should have, but we killed it. Oh crap, and there's another one. And we got the melee one that time. And he's not dying. Damn it, leave her alone! Jerk! God! <sighs> Alright. But yeah, the stealth system on this game, at least they're implementing a stealth system, which I think is kind of cool. But I was going to say about the soundtrack, so far I have not been impressed with the soundtrack. I can't remember if I started to say anything about this or not, but I just don't like the whole heartbeat with a random synthesizer thing. I think that's kind of dumb. Um, I ran back that way because I didn't know that we were actually right by the door we need to go through. It's just right over here. So we need to come in here and... That's a sub weapon, and that will be useful later. And that's a key, and that will be useful later, too. And we're going to push this thing out of the way, which will be very helpful later as well. Push! 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 See, we could take that door. Unfortunately, I didn't realize this when I was playing that we could take that door and that would actually make our trek back easier. I didn't realize that. So when you're coming back, you can actually take that. It would involve dealing with these blade traps, though, which I do avoid, but... Yeah, well. Of course, there had to be bugs. Why not? There's flies in every picnic. And I can't see where all the bugs are, so we're just gonna go. Hoist her up. And this is just a technical guide thing. Don't really care. You can kind of figure it out on your own anyways. Yeah, your character, your partner character can take damage even if you're separated. And this isn't a complex puzzle over here. I'm looking for items as well. Flip that switch. And like I said earlier, those were going to turn on. What? Are you kidding me? And apparently now we can do that. Beat the crap out of the zombie. Larry, you're finally being useful, although unfortunately I have to control you in order for that to happen. Alright, where do I go? I don't actually know what's happening there. Like I mentioned before, I'm partially blind, visually impaired. So I don't actually know. I assume if I'd stayed in there, I would die, but I don't know if like something's like crushing that area or what. And I walked around a little bit. I didn't realize that we actually need to go back the same way we came. So, yeah, just go back the way you came. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, I was almost a Claire sandwich. Oh, does Barry tell everyone that story? Well, at least we've got power. That should Capcom help. greenlit a Resident Evil 2 remake. And if you go this way, you avoid the blade traps, which is nice. However, unfortunately, you're going to get zombies, which, if you're good at shooting them, is not a problem. I, on the other hand, well, I shoot at walls. So, yeah. Although the blade traps wouldn't have been any better for me. I'm going to die. 
Or Moira's gonna die. One of us is gonna die. Taste my blades of justice! Another one around here? I thought there were two. Maybe I. Oh, there. There he is. So yeah, I don't know. That. I think the Resident Evil 2, if they do it like the first one, will be good. But I, I know there's going to be missing some stuff that I really like, which is unfortunate. I basically want everything kept the same as the original Resident Evil 2, just updated graphics is really what all I want. Maybe con the control scheme from the remaster from Resident Evil 1 remaster. That control scheme added. Same voice actress for Claire. Same soundtrack. Just because they're so awesome the way they were already. And I really don't want them to make the game gray and brown. Like they did with the remake of the first game. But, unfortunately... I'm already kind of imagining that's what they're going to do. But I'm sure it'll still be a good game. It'll be awesome for people who find the PS1 outdated. Stay back. Stay out. Jerk. Taste my blades of justice. My blades of justice. So I'm going to call this video. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it's good. I better meet. God damn it, Moira! You're sh Sherry Birkin all over again. Fucking Sherry Birkin. Oh yeah, improve Sherry Birkin's AI though. That would be very a lot helpful. That would be, yeah, that would be a lot more helpful. Fucking Sherry Birkin. You can see my Resident Evil Two LP. I get pissed at her. So much so, I named two of those videos, God damn it, Sherry 1 and 2. Alright. We're making our way back. So we can leave this nut house. I think we actually could have jumped down over there. I'm not really sure, but I wanted to come down this way just because I know there was a ladder. And how dare I not acknowledge the reference to the classic berry line from the original Resident Evil about Jill Sandwich. Pretty sad. I still really wish they had left that in the remake. It literally hurt my heart when I realized they changed that line. It was awesome. And how bad it was, it was awesome. Now we're looking for a place to start this up. Since there's power now. There we go. Oh, sick. So they were torturing people. Yeah, and we need that car. That's right, they were. Sick bastards. Let's leave. Finally, we got the cog. We can Activate the door. We can get the hell out of this place. Watch out for blade traps. I swear one time I saw a zombie come through this way, but he didn't show up this time, so that's good. Fortunately, these aren't too hard to dodge because there's only one at a time. That other area, I found them kind of difficult, which thankfully I got to avoid. About to get cray cray, cray cray. Turn this. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. I need a valve first, not the game company. Need the valve. I know where it is. I couldn't get to it before. Turn that shit. Come on, turn it. Turn it on, Claire. Like you turned me on. Turn that on. Thank you. 
That's Flames of Justice! Yeah! So that should at least hurt them and make it easier to kill them. And some of these enemies... Oh, God. That's... Brutal. I, I, I don't really need that in my gaming. But that at least hurt them when they come through, which is something. I don't know if it actually kills any of them, but it'll at least injure them. And yeah, that one caught on fire. Oh, that's a big dude. Oh my god. Are you okay? I thought he was nearly dead, so that's why I switched to her for a second there. <laughs> Wow, I gotta use the herb. And my headset's falling off. There we go. Without help. Die! Alrighty then. Well, we've set this place on fire. We've unleashed a bunch of zombies. I think our work here is done. Let's leave. Moira. So help. Okay, you gotta use your crowbar here. And there are two of these things that we've got to pry off. And supposedly zombies come after you get the first one off. Or as we start doing this. But apparently they're infinite spawning like a couple at a time. So... It's usually best, and what I tried to do is come back to Claire here to check on the situation and take care of anything. However, I didn't see anything, so we're just going to switch back to Moira and do this real quick and go for the best. Hopefully those Flames of Justice keep them out. Damn, I don't know if I should call this video Flames of Justice or Blades of Justice. I I feel like I should come with Blades of Justice because I was having so much fun with that my, on my original commentary for this. I think I'm going to stick with Blades of Justice, but I do like Flames of Justice too. I hope there's a situation where I can actually use that later on in this video. Alright, come on Moira, open the door. Thank you. That's a good girl. Why is it Claire always gets stuck with babysitting dude? Sherry, Steve, Moira. She's always babysitting because I'm a little brat. Oh, they're finally outside. That's gotta mean good things, right? Right? Ah, fuck. Said the poor lost soul as she lamented her fate. Oh, again with these stupid bracelets. Who are you? I want answers. Overseer. You must go to the Vosik, where life begins. What do you want from us? Nice. Real nice. Yeah, we actually need to come over to this tree here and grab an herb. And yeah, this chick does not even sound remotely like Claire. I really wish... I know I bitched about this in the last video. I'll probably bitch about that Claire's entire run of this game, but... And find this path that was really hard for me to see, but it's there. But yeah, they could at least got somebody who sounds a little bit like her. Okay, that chick is clearly evil. I would be like, yeah, whatever it is you're telling me to go to, I'm not going there. I'll go anywhere but that place. Fuck you. I would not take that as a clue of where to go. Not in a million years. A radio tower. Maybe we can send an SOS. Right. We ain't fucking around. Except that we're going to fuck around because there's uh, one of those puzzle boxes over here and I want the parts for a gun. Though it is kind of interesting that that these parts can work for different kinds of guns. Handgun, shotgun, rifle. That's kind of weird actually. I mean, I'm not ultra familiar with guns, but I'm pretty sure a handgun part doesn't work on a shotgun part. I'm just saying. 
mean, I'm not bitching too much because, you know, hey, I like the fact that I can rotate these out between weapons given whichever way I decide to go. Oh, God. That's not good. See? You can do it. I got you. Fuck you, Hollywood. That wasn't even close to easy. Listen, Moira, I'm really sorry. I don't know what I got you mixed up in. Mary will never forgive me. This isn't your fault. Also, Barry can kiss my ass. The guy bitches and moans and granny swears about everything. What the fuck is a granny swear anyways? That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, if this were Resident Evil 6, that would have been a quick time event. So I'm very happy it's not that game. Hell, Resident Evil 5 or even 4, might, that might have been a quick time event. Uh, another upgrade thing. So upgrade your weapons because this will be your last chance to do so. Until we come across one of those again. But for the chapter. Or, yeah, you can't break that. I was hoping. Because I really want more supplies. Not going to lie. But oh well. So come over here. To our right is a barrel. I got that pretty much off screen because I didn't see it. You can basically break that and pick up some bullets. But otherwise, just come over here and activate this. So? No, it's dead. You stay here. I'm going to go check it out. were taken here against our will. I don't know where. <laughs> we have these fucked up bracelets and this crazy woman is talking to us. Some kind of monsters have killed the others. <laughs> Please, send help. Please. One more time. My name is Moira Burton. <laughs> oh, God. 